YouTube, what's poppin'? It's Ryan, I'm not wearing any pants right now, Milano, back with another video, and before we get into the meat, the juicy prime rib, the of this video, I want to give a little bit of a public service announcement. Do you know that Semi-Pro isn't just a YouTube channel? We also have podcasts weekly, we also write articles, we also have social media, all that will be linked down in the description below. We have some lofty goals here at Semi-Pro, and if you check out all of those sites, you can help us reach them, and you can be a part of the Semi-Pro journey. But with that, let's get right into the video. Today, we're going to ask the age-old question, who is the best running back in the NFL? Is it Derrick Henry, or is it Christian McCaffrey? You can make an argument for Saquon Barkley or Ezekiel Elliott, but I won't. You could also argue that Little Pump is better than Kanye, or that Almond Joys aren't nasty, or that Riptide Rush isn't the best flavor of Gatorade, but I don't like to be wrong. Derrick Henry is a bowling ball headed down the lane towards the pins that are the defenders, and Ryan Tannehill is the world-class bowler that's going to send that ball down the lane, and the referees are the ball back system that's going to bring the ball back to the top of the lane and the grounds crew are the people that oil up the lane and this analogy has gotten really out of hand. But this video is going to be a video about why Derrick Henry is the best running back in the league or at least his argument for it. Henry is the most physical runner of the football in the league and it's not even close. He's 6'3", 247, runs a 4'5", 40. If he's coming downhill, defenders fear for their life and they need to get out of the way. Derrick Henry's like the cracked out version of speed and Keanu Reeves and Sandra Bullock cannot save you now. Henry was third in the league in broken tackles, shugging off any defender that comes near him, but that doesn't make him only the third most physical because Henry had one of the lowest yards before contact of any other player in the National Football League, meaning he was taking a consistent beating. I'm a big proponent that running backs are replaceable and their production is largely dependent on the offensive line in front of them, but in this case that doesn't really hold true. Henry can do whatever he wants despite having one of the worst run blocking lines in the entire NFL. He was the leading rusher in the league and his offensive line wasn't that great, and he also found Pater more than anyone else in football. The goal in football is to score the ball more than the other people score the ball, and Derrick Henry scored the ball more than anyone else at his position. And then he picked up his production even more during the postseason, averaging 188 rushing yards a game in the victories over New England and Baltimore, both of which were upsets, and both of which Henry almost single-handedly carried the Titans to victories in that matchup. Derrick Henry's nickname is Tractor Cito. Say it with me. Tractor Cito! One of the most unusual and unfitting and least intimidating nicknames in the entire NFL. Tractors are slow and cumbersome, and Henry is fast and dominant and physical. And for some reason, it's in Spanish? I don't know. Did he have some powwow with Enrique Iglesias? Or Mark Anthony? Or Spanish conquistadors? Come on, man. Come on, man! The weakness for Derrick Henry is the lack of versatility. And that isn't to say that he doesn't have some versatility. He is deceptively fast and he's a solid pass blocker, but you have to compare Henry's abilities to McCaffrey in a lot of aspects. They're comparable as pass blockers and have comparable speed, with McCaffrey probably owning the slight advantage in both areas. But the main discrepancy is the receiving. The debate between Henry and McCaffrey as far as receivers are galaxies away from each other. McCaffrey is one of the best receivers in all of football regardless of position, and Henry is one of the worst pass catching backs in the entire NFL. Granted, a lot of his pass catching opportunities were mitigated because of Deion Lewis being that primary pass catching back in the backfield, but nonetheless Henry isn't looked at a receiving threat and defenses were not scared of Henry out of the backfield. The main argument in favor of Henry is his true running ability. He's one of the few players in the entire NFL that can take a poor run-blocking offensive line and still be productive behind it, and not just productive, but elite, leading the NFL in rushing yards and touchdowns. CMC doesn't have the greatest line either, but he's more unpredictable in what he can do due to his versatility, switching things up so the defense is caught off guard. The debate is still up in the air, and I don't think there's a clear-cut answer for Henry or McCaffrey, but King Henry is without a doubt the purest runner and most dominant runner in the National Football League. 
And that's the argument for Derrick Henry to be the best running back in all of football. Do you agree with it or do you not? Leave in the comments down below. And also, make sure to like and make sure to subscribe. It helps us out a lot. But that's all I got to say. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.